Hey everyone, I'm Arch with Project Peaceful Warriors. And I'm here with my partner, Erin, today. And we're going to offer you a super simple, easy, restorative yoga practice that you can do from home. Restorative yoga is such a great way for us to stop, reset, and get some conscious relaxation in. Um, restorative yoga can be super helpful for our nervous system. It's calming, grounding, it even helps with digestion, and it can be such a great way to help with insomnia if you're having trouble sleeping. It's important during this time to practice self-care. So we'll be holding these poses for about five to 10 minutes. Um, feel free to stay in the pose for as long as it feels comfortable in your body. All of today's poses will be seated and supported. Normally, if you go to a restorative yoga class, there are a lot of props. There's bolsters, blocks, um, blankets, and since we're all at home today, or most of us are at home, we are gonna make it simple for you. Just feel free to grab two pillows. They can be bedroom pillows, they can be throw pillows, whatever you have around the house. Some optional items for today's practice are also a chair, or I've also grabbed a blanket and my journal. These practices are super rewarding. They're very introspective. And if you feel like anything is coming up that you wanna explore, maybe there's just a thought that comes into your brain, maybe you're noticing where you're tight in the body, feel free to jot down anything that comes to you in between these poses. So today, me and my partner will be demoing the poses for you. We'll demo a couple of different variations so that everyone can find a version that feels comfortable in their body. We'll suggest um, how long you can stay in the poses, but again, feel free to come out of any of the poses whenever it feels right for you. You can do one of these poses a day, or feel free to take all of the poses we share today and really have a nice, long, juicy, restorative practice. PPW will also be uploading a great restorative playlist, so feel free to put that on, grab your pillows, and join us for this restorative practice. Let's get started. The first pose we'll offer is a supported fish pose. This is a gentle heart opener. So all you'll need for this pose is your two pillows. Erin's gonna demo one way that we can do it first. You'll grab your two pillows and simply stack them up, one on top of each other. You'll scoot your sacrum up into the edge of the pillow and simply lie back. Your hands will lay out beside you You'll leave a little room for your armpits and your palms will face up. During these poses, we want to remember to really focus on our breathing. Feel free at any time to bring one hand to the chest and one to the belly, and you can really focus on that deep belly breathing. Another way that we can do this, if you want a little bit more of a heart opener, is to grab one of your pillows, simply bend it in half, and take the other one and drape it right over. And just like Aaron did, you'll scoot your sit bones up into the edge of the pillow and lay back. The next pose we're gonna offer is a supported tree pose, Rikasana. This is a nice and gentle hip opener. I'll show you one way by demoing on Erin. For this pose, you can grab both of your pillows or one will do. You'll lay completely flat on your back. Feel free to use one of those pillows under your head. Your hands will be by your side and palms will face up. We'll start on our left side. The sole of your left foot will come to touch either your ankle, calf, or inner right thigh, whatever's most comfortable for you. Once you find a spot that's comfortable for you, the other pillow will rest under your left knee. 
Remember to breathe while in these shapes. Inhaling deeply through the nose to fill up the belly, rib cage and chest, and making, her, making sure to take nice, long, deep exhales. I'll show another way that you can do this pose. We'll grab one pillow for our head and another one for the knee, just like Aaron has. But this time, you'll lie on your stomach. So this is an alternative way to do the tree pose. Your forehead or cheek can come to the pillow. Your hands will be out by your side. Again, the sole of your foot will be on the inner right thigh, calf or ankle. And feel free to stay in this pose for as long as it's comfortable and making sure to switch over to the opposite side for the same amount of time. The next shape we'll offer is a supported forward fold, Pachimottanasana. This is a great way to come inward. Forward folds are very calming and relaxing. I'll demo one way that you can do this. Grab your two pillows. We'll sit on our sit bones and our feet are extended out in front of us. Depending on how forward you are able to bend over, um, you can see if you need one pillow or two. I need two. So my pillows are stacked. We'll bring our hands by our side. We'll find some length in the spine and then we'll begin to forward fold. If you're not able to bend forward as far, there's another great alternative that you can do with a chair. Erin's gonna demo for us. So grab any chair in your house. Um, feel free to use one of your pillows as well on top of the chair, just so it's a little bit more comfortable for your forehead. Can also give some extra height if you can't um, bend forward as far. We'll find length in the spine and we'll begin to fold over, resting our forehead onto the pillow. And this is a great way to practice the forward fold in a really nice and supportive, relaxing way. The next pose we'll offer is a supine spinal twist. A spinal twist is a great way to massage the abdominal organs, to strengthen the abdominal muscles. Um, it's also a great way to hydrate the spinal discs and find length and relaxation in our spine. Erin will demo for us. You'll just need two pillows for this pose. Again, one can be optional and that one can be under your head. We'll lay completely flat on our backs with the soles of our feet on the ground. Our knees are bent. Our hands are actually gonna come out to a T and we'll start on Aaron's left side. So I'll ask him to bring his knees into his chest and then he'll slowly drop the knees over to his left side body. The other pillow can be placed in between the knees for some comfort. And since Aaron is twisting over on his left side body, he's going to take his gaze over his right fingertips. I'll demo the other side. Another option is to simply lay the pillow under the knees instead of in between. And since I'm twisting my legs over to the right, my gaze will come over my left fingertips.
The next pose we'll offer is legs at the wall. This is a really relaxing pose. It helps with relieving tension in our lower back. It also helps get the blood rushing to our feet. If you have tight or cramped feet, this pose will really help. It also helps relax our pelvic floor muscles. If you are uncomfortable putting your legs completely straight up in the air, there are a bunch of great ways that this pose can become accessible for everyone. Um, Aaron's gonna demo doing this pose with a chair. Again, you can bring one pillow under your head if that's comfortable. And you'll just grab any chair in your house. Feel free to use the sofa, an ottoman, and you'll simply rest your calves and feet onto the chair so that they're raised. Your arms will come out by your side and the palms can stay up. I'll demo the version at the wall. So feel free to find a door, a wall in your house. Feel free to raise your hips as high as you would like. You can stack blankets or just any pillow. I'm gonna use one today. We'll push our hips up into the pillow. I generally take one push up, get my sit bones onto the pillow, and then twist. You'll lie completely back. Our final pose that we'll offer is corpse pose, Shavasana, our most important pose of the day. For this pose, feel free to use anything that makes you feel absolutely your most comfortable. We'll lie flat on our backs and I'll have Aaron demo for us. Feel free to use a pillow under your head, that's comfortable. Sometimes I like to have a pillow under my knees For me, what's really comfortable is just a pillow under the head and grabbing that blanket so I can get extra snug. This pose is really great for anxiety, for settling down our nervous system, digestion. And it's a really great way to bring awareness and mindfulness into the body. It's normal for our brains to have thoughts coming in and interrupting our meditation. Be kind to yourself and simply allow yourself to come back to the breath. That's our restorative yoga practice for the day. We hope you find these poses relaxing and that you can bring some mindfulness into your practice. Feel free to check out the Project Peaceful Warriors Instagram Click the link in our bio so that you can access all of our resources and make sure to check out the restorative yoga playlist. Thank you.